Harris, uh, Harris getting a, uh, I can't remember what he got up. He got up to go get something for his headache. Hi, I'm going to be playing the game. You just get him, you get okay. This man has forced me to play the game. I'm not interesting, by the way. Don't, don't expect me to be interesting the whole time. It's really awkward because now I feel like I have a burden of handling all one viewer on my shoulder. Thank goodness he has come back. Man of the hour. <coughs> well, and you killed him. I blame you. Get out of the room. I'm, sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, get out of the room. Oh, oh yeah, also we don't have a time. What? We don't have a timer. We can start it now. We start now. Just minus... Yeah, I'm feeling kind of nauseous, and maybe even a little bit allergy problems. Maybe I should leave. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Wait, so we did... Okay, so this is the clip. This clip down. Yes. I think this is the one I... Uh, it's not even that I don't uh, like it, it's just those... I, I just remember having trouble with it. But it's, okay. been, but it's been a while, so... It's one of my favorites, because, like... The, one of the nice. ladies are like, or one of the enemies are just a big old fat lady, and she, they slap the other enemies to like make you, to make them run at you. And then in the Dr. Shemp level, like they're set to automatically just run off the cliff. If you <laughs> if they miss you, the, they will run off the cliff. It's great, and they program the gem to automatically just pop back up from the uh, from the abyss. I like it. It's good. No, it's... In these kind of games, I... what are these spikes gonna do? It will stop a very big monster from running directly at it. Couldn't he just duck? Okay. Or just put his, <laughs> oh, or right. put his neck like between it and then move. I guess the metal. I guess yeah. yeah. I guess the metal braces would prevent. But I think it would feel like it would still. Oh, wait, they still do run. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. You just you say words. So um, watch this. Oh yeah. So I don't remember who was talking about it. Um, in, Sorry for the sniffles. A let's play. I don't know if it was this game or another Galacticon type game. Yeah. They, they brought up an interesting point that, like, this kind of game, you probably have to think a lot more, like, carefully about how you design the game. Yeah. It's like you just said, those enemies, they go off the edge, it's programmed to, like, shoot the gem back up so you can actually get it. Mm -hmm. Imagine if just, like, I mean, you could, you could at least, like, if they didn't have that, like, leave the level and come back. But just imagine how much more irritating that would be. Yeah. Or, like, if you just couldn't do that and it's just gone forever. Like, like these games you have to think, okay, well, you have to be able to get to all of these things and, like, think about, like, the level design and all that. But on top of that, you have to also go, okay, we need this many gems. Yeah. You can't... We have to make it so it's not, like, missable. Like, you can't just miss it and then go to the end of the game and not be able to go back and get it. Like That's, that's a good point, because I was Dragon's thinking earlier, there are some instances where there's gems armor. that will end, Remember like, Spyro. or they'll appear Play like an enemy if, it's, if they're right by the edge, if they just spawn there naturally. Horse. But the enemies can move, so what if it lands right near the edge? But I seem to have found that, like, they can't fall off the edge. Yeah. But some t in some, like, the later games, so as they can fall on the edge if there's another platform below it. But that means that some there has to be some line of programming that says if it's just to the abyss, it mm. can't fall. So that makes sense for you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's like nowadays they just churn out like open world games where all you gotta do is make a pretty map. I, okay, those both scatter cool. like waypoints on it with boring objectives to do like, like Assassin's Creed or something. Yeah. Offense if you like those games. I'm just saying. I did. I did 100 too. I played one for about an hour, and I'm like, this sucks. And I skipped it, and then I'm like, alright, two will be the, it'll seal the deal. And I, I, I beat two, 100% of it, I got the cool armor, and I liked it. And then I played Brotherhood, you lose the cool armor immediately in that game, and all of your equipment. Just the classic video game trope. And then, um... I, I played for like an hour and a half, and I was like, this is the same thing, but somehow I'm more bored. I think what kills the newer ones for me is I don't think you can. I've only played like maybe one of the newer Assassin's Creed games. I can't even remember which one it was, but you can't. I don't think you can tackle it because like there were different just actions that like would show up on the screen or whatever. So like if you're walking, it'll be different than if you're like running, it'll be a different action. So for B, if you were sprinting, you could just hit B, and it was like if you were unarmed, it would just say tackle, 
So you could just go to a busy part of town and just go to random NPCs and just start. Wow, okay, okay. You could just like tackle like people into the water and it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> or you could just grab people and if you like, you could throw them, like not like overhead like throw them, but like you just kind of shove them and then they just stumble continuously in whatever direction you're facing. Yeah. <laughs> so literally you could just take like some old lady and just like push them towards a well and they would actually hit it and like fall over the edge and fall in the well. <laughs> And it gives you the warning for, oh, Ezio didn't kill people, and it's like, whatever. It, it never enforces it, because you didn't straight up just, like, stab them or something. Yeah. You can literally just punch people into wells for an hour, and nothing will happen. It's really funny. Enzo. Hey, you are not a Ferrari. River. Why don't you drive <laughs> there and find out? You are not a Ferrari. That's funnier to me, because I don't understand cars. <laughs> <laughs> me also. I understand small engines, and weed whackers, and lawn mowers, and things with also small engines. Cars, I, I, know, I know enough. I can work on them. I can figure out a task if needed. <sighs> I can change my own oil and air filter and um, spark plugs, even though it was awful. I, I actually I have to lie. I mean, me and my dad did my spark plugs, yes. We physically could not reach. Uh, I think it was, I don't remember if it was plug number four or, four or plug number six. It was, wait, wait, I can't remember which ones are considered the front ones, which were considered the back. Point is, there's one way in the back. We had to get my mom. None, yeah. My dad and I have very short limbs, and also, like, wider limbs. We could not get it, so we're like, hey, mom. <laughs> and she did it. It was actually really nice. Yeah, it was so cool. It was nice. So we, we actually would not have been able to have gotten it. I'm so like nauseous right now. Yeah, I can tell you're, you're quiet right now. You're, you're, yeah. you're getting a little. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's fine. I'm in sick world. Doesn't sound like a good world. I think I'm actually. I mean, I'm actually sick. I don't think I am. I usually get sick from just allergies. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <sighs> Hope you don't die. Um. What else? What else do I know about cars? I know I really, absolutely want an AMC Gremlin. I don't care if people say the car looks like a shoe. A good shoe. Good old Gremlin. Yeah. Gremlin and the Pacer are my favorite cars. Pacer apparently is even more hated. Is the force field thing here too? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, this is actually the level I was talking about. Oh, yeah. It's great. Kinda takes you a little bit out of the world feel. I don't know. Yeah. I, I wonder how they're gonna go about that in the new one. I would kinda like if they kept it. They probably will. If it's I anything mean, they're, like they're obviously gonna detail the background, of yeah. course. That, that always makes me wonder, like, how much more time would it have taken to just model, like, a tall fence that you can't jump over, and then yeah. just put that there? I feel but, like that would feel almost... Yeah. It, I would say it would kind of distract from the visuals, or not necessarily that, but it would it would feel different. It would have a different yeah. feel. But I... Although, now I guess when, now when you look at it, it's kind of short. Yeah. But then again, it does, it, it does give a good indication of, like, there is a desert out there. That's just the boundary of the town. It's always like a cool feeling as a kid when you're playing games and you just like, I, it was always a spiral with three loading screens for me where like, I always like, would be like, oh, is that like a place you can like get to? Yeah. And it's like, it's just a skybox, but it was like the coolest like thing ever. Cause like you'd see like in the background the of like the, the buzz boss fight, there were just those like little castle, I, like mountain I things or whatever in the yeah. lava around there. And it was like. As a kid, it's like you, you don't know what's possible and what isn't in the game. As an adult, it's like, all right, that's just the background. You can't yeah. get there. But it's like, as, as a kid, kid you're like, you with can you like go in there? Is there like another dude in there? Like, what's in there? It's the boundary of the town. What's all that about? Boundary, boundary. Oh, anyway, I like a terrible side headache. Side headache. Oh, I am kind of tired. I don't know. I, I have this problem lately where I just keep like waking up every 15 minutes. I, I go through phases of that. Like it won't happen. It won't. It won't happen. Like for a long time. But when it does start happening, it's for, like for four to five months at a time. Yeah. Like certain parts of my life, I will use much harder pillows. Yeah. And then otherwise, I use a really short and flat ones where I'm getting absolutely no support. But if I use the other ones, like the hard ones, I cannot sleep. Like common pillow for pillow. You pillow. Yeah. I feel like there's another gem chest thing I have to like launch a rocket at. Ooh, yeah. Can he find it in the next 60 seconds? Or, or <laughs> it just, nope. It's just right over here. Oh. Alright. 
Which is actually, again, cool because of the render distance. Yeah. Or because it, it does the low quality thing. Like, I was able to see a low quality render of a chest. But it was still, like, even those pots, they're still there. You can still tell what it is, yeah. Yeah. That's, that also says something about, like, the color yeah. choices and stuff, too. To be like, okay, Sweet. we need this to be a simple enough object, but stand out because of the color so you can actually see it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, part 